82-year-old Erica Pinkham beat bladder cancer three years ago. A scan in February found three lesions on her bladder, but because her urologist was furloughed during COVID, she couldn't get a scan until a month ago. The lesions are cancerous, but no date has been scheduled to remove them. Medical practices and hospitals are gradually resuming elective surgeries and procedures that were put on hold due to the pandemic. Pinkham is trying to stay positive despite the cancer growing in her body. It's not uh, that sentence in my situation, but I'm worried about people who have breast cancer, who are supposed to have a breast removed. With this months and months dragging on, those people, it may be too late for them. And that's a really um, unconscionable. It's just a Russian roulette with my health. Gina LaDuke couldn't spend a year fighting a rare cancer after a large lump was discovered in her left breast. That included chemo, radiation, and a radical mastectomy because the cancer was so advanced. But after COVID, visits to her oncologist stopped for two months. My blood should be checked monthly. They should see how my body is re reacting to treatments. I mean, I had an advanced aggressive cancer. Both women, though, are not patients at Maine Health, which has resumed some elective surgeries and preventative care, including mammograms and immunizations. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Joan Boonsma says it's all being done under strict guidelines, universal masking, limited or no waiting rooms, and testing for COVID before some procedures. We're having non-COVID care areas um, so that we don't have patients with COVID in the same areas. Um, we also have dedicated staff who are screened every morning. Any shortness of breath? Northern Light Health is checking staff and patients for symptoms as they work to get procedures rescheduled. Reach out to those individuals um, who may have missed those important um, visits or procedures that they needed to have done. Um, part of our plan will be to looking at extended business hours. As for Gina, a mother of six, she did finally see her oncologist two weeks ago, but is still waiting for physical therapy and a scan needed to start a new drug treatment. Erica, in the meantime, is ready to beat cancer. I'm going to fight like hell. Again, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.